I ordered the pieces of steel I needed for the, the tire rack back here about a half an hour ago, and they're already ready to be picked up. The piece, you know, the steel's gonna be pulled out of inventory, they gotta cut it the length, the length that I ordered, and uh, it's all supposed to be ready, so. Uh, this will be big, getting this project, this part of things wrapped up. It's kind of a major component on getting the coachman ready. I'm, uh, we're gonna go down and get that stuff. And Bella is coming along. We're gonna go in the van. You wanna go for a ride in the van? You, you ready to go? Wait a minute, I, okay, I forgot. I gotta grab something. Like my keys, that'd be helpful. <laughs> we'll lock the coachman up and we're gonna get out of here. I know, I'm, let me lock up. Let me lock up. I see your little stub wagon. Wagon your stub. Let's go. Let's, let's go. I'll get the door for you. I'll get the door for you. <laughs> yeah, there's always a million little things to do, but, uh, and a lot of stuff can actually wait. I can do while I'm out traveling and need something to do. Uh, but this is a major component that I, it, it's a must do for, for me. Our local steel supplier is a little company called Metco. So I'm gonna go and pay for it real quick and we'll go up there to the, to the warehouse and pick our order up. I'll be right back, girl. You can see her breath. The air conditioning's working so good. I really don't even need it this morning. I'll, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. All right. Well, the price of steel has gone up a little bit. Of course, I have an old price sheet. Probably five years old at least. <laughs> so I'm not surprised when I come pick my order up. It's a little bit more than I estimated. This van needs some love so bad. No, I gotta replace this thing. I already bought one. It's so beat. It's so beat up. Oh. And I already Jack picked. One. Up on the hill. And, and I already, uh, I already picked one up. It's back at the garage. I just haven't. You know, I got two other vehicles I juggle around, and I've neglected the van. You know, I knew I needed it. I bought it. It just needs. I'll, I'll get it. it. Just needs. Battery good. Oh yeah. All right. Yep. Thank you. Uh -huh. All right. Alright, come on. Uh, nothing. Ugh. See, I, I need the... It needs a radiator too. I have the new uh, battery terminal. <laughs> Back at the garage. Uh, it's, it's dirty. It's just seen better days too. It just... So it's gonna get a fresh one, but I need to clean that one up. Uh, I'll get it going here in a minute. But yeah, I ordered the new radiator for it. It's supposed to be here. Oh, it's supposed to be here today. Uh, but. That'll, that'll get put off. I'll, I'll put that in soon. <laughs> See, this, this is hardly even tight. I bought, uh, and this is, isn't even a good heavy duty one. This should be accepting a wire this big. Look how corroded that is. Uh, so, what do I always say? Let me just bang some of the crap out of there. Uh, 90% of all pro electrical problems are, oops, loose or dirty connections. <sighs> yeah, the, the corrosion inside that, down under the, in there, <sighs> it's bad. But uh, I'll clean this up a little bit and uh, we'll get her home. We'll get her back to the garage and then I'm not leaving again <laughs> until I put that new one on. Yeah, the new one I bought is that, this is actually a little bit wider, designed for a heavier wire. So let me put this one on and, uh, I, I'm afraid to take that off because the nuts on the bottom side could possibly fall out. Uh, no, I think it's gonna stay. No, it's right there. I don't wanna lose those, but I can open it up further and get in there a little bit better. Ooh, man. All right, we're gonna 
give that a go. Yeah, this needs to be redone really bad. We'll get to that. See, that's why I take my time and I want to take just really look at all the details and stuff about the coachman. Uh, oh, I can hear it. I must left the key on. I can hear it getting connection now. <laughs> Let me go turn the key off. Yeah, that really needs to strip back further to get a better bite on it. But to get it home, I won't get in there. should do is just take it completely off but that's all right we just need to get it home this happened to me a couple of weeks ago and I, <laughs> and I wiggled it and it started and then I put it off. Then I went out and I bought the, the new one. Now I'm putting it off and putting it off. And then it comes around to bite me. That's what happens when you don't fix it right. needed to start this one more time <laughs> oh, man. come on all right <clears throat> we'll try this again all right we'll, we'll be going that one See, I kind of like these inconvenient little reminders because we're just local. You know, we're five, like five miles from the show, uh, from the garage, roughly. And you know, I could made a call if the guy there didn't have a little seven sixteenths wrench to lend me because I don't have anything in the van. Uh, I could have made a call and you know rescues even even closer, about two minutes away. <laughs> so, um, but it is a it's a good reminder of you know this stuff can happen out in the out in the road in the middle of nowhere, and uh, you know it could have been a worse problem. Uh, so it's just a good reminder to you know have your vehicle healthy and you know really take the time to go over it. We're setting off across the entire country. I got three things going on at one. I got three things going on at one time, and that that is so me. Uh, one's <laughs> uh, well, one thing the radiator came and it's damaged. So um, I don't know. You know, most of the time stuff's always packed well, and but once in a while, and sometimes it's so damaged you think. Why did that driver even leave it? All right, I got a terminal post for the van, but that's a little reflection going on there. Uh, that's the generic one for the uh, uh, negative one. I'm gonna do them both while I'm doing it. And I don't know if you can see this or not here. Uh, this is a little bit heavier one. It has, uh, this end is just designed uh, bigger than the, the uh, standard ones. Let me see if you can tell the difference here. Yeah, see it? That's what you typically see, that little one. You can see how much bigger that one is. So, I got that at Tractor Supply. I'm just gonna go ahead and put two new ones on. Uh, you know, the other one didn't look bad, but I don't know why I'm there. And here, these are an incredibly useful tool. Uh, got my first one back when I was in high school. I still have it, but it's pretty worn out. Then I bought another one. 
<laughs> and it's okay, but uh, actually I'm going to gift this one. I'm going to use it one time and uh, gift it to somebody. That's a, that's a little wire brush you put on top of your, uh, the, the battery post and you rotate it and it shines it up. And then the other side has this cap and uh, you, you just turn that and pull that off. And then uh, the other the other end will you know go inside. You just uh, ram that in and out and twist it around a little bit, and that cleans the insides of these. So these are really nice uh, 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 battery post and uh, battery connection uh, tool. Yeah, they're only like four, you know, three or four or five bucks or something at the auto parts store. I'm sure they're on Amazon too. Uh, but uh, we'll. Uh, We'll, we'll get to that. <laughs> That's uh, I'll do it later. It's gotten really like hot and uh, and muggy. Uh, I might do that in the morning when it's cool. Actually, it's still it's not that late. I might wait till later this evening when the sun drops down a little bit and it cools up off a little bit. Because right now the front of the van's and right in the sunlight. I'm not gonna stand out in the hot muggy direct sun doing that job. No reason to. It's not urgent right now. Oh, that damaged package hey <laughs> boy oh boy i've seen i've seen a few damaged packages in my day but this ranks right up there so the ups driver just left it right here in front of the door i took some pictures of it and then uh, uh <laughs> look it's i mean it's uh it's really it's really bad and there are some areas that are damaged in there all on the bottom here all ripped out this other side is even this is the worst this side's all i mean how do you even <laughs> in here is bent uh there's damage in there so uh <laughs> that's that's bad that's how does a driver even even leave that it's like it looks like it fell off a truck and skidded down the road a couple hundred yards that thing's a mess so yeah there's more damage right right in here yeah so uh no i'm just not gonna mess with it take any chances uh it might be okay that's that's just the fins are dent the other side's dented in a little bit but it, you know it might not leak but you know what i'm just not gonna take any chances with it so i clicked on the uh amazon return thing yeah i got this through amazon uh spectra premium i think it's a brand of most uh, auto parts uh, carries or one of them so i clicked on the return item reason for returning the box the shipping box and the product are both damaged so uh ups will actually uh you can schedule delivery drop it off yourself or schedule a pickup i schedule a pickup that guy's gonna come by uh tomorrow and he can just take it take it back home and then they're sh sending a free replacement i could have got a refund or uh, just send me another one Keep my fingers crossed that it didn't fall off a truck and skid down the road. <laughs> so the radiator project is going to be off for five or six days until that gets here. So that leaves me with, uh, oh, I got ahead of myself with the, those uh, pieces of steel. Let's go over there a minute. Same thing, I got some grinding and welding and cutting to do here. Uh, I'll try to block the sun. Right, here's how I got ahead of myself. Yeah, imagine this is one piece. That's how I bought it. Uh, I've taken a saw to it since. This was uh, eight inches by 12. Actually, it's an inch over, it's uh, 13. It was a little leftover piece they had and I got a free inch. So uh, I cut it. Where's my other piece here? Oh, I got started here. Uh, I cut this piece of angle arm. It's gonna go in the bumper. What happened was, uh, you know, I'm gonna cut this off, at least part way. This was a, a bad start to the uh, original, uh, the other uh, tire rack. It's uh, kind of flimsy to begin with. And, uh, but when it was mounted uh, with another part, it, it stiffened it up, but uh, it, it still just wasn't a real good setup. So uh, I think what I'm gonna do here, and I will have to take, uh, I will have to pause a bit and wire wheel this all, and at least paint this section. I wanted to get the holes drilled in at first, uh, and then I'll wire wheel and paint it, because I, I want paint to actually get in them holes too, so that'll retard the rust. I'm not gonna do the whole bumper right now. Uh, that's, I mean, I, I don't want to spend the entire you know i want to get this done before the snow flies okay so <laughs> we're gonna, i'm gonna uh take care of this area here i got this piece of angle arm and i'm gonna put it over those holes and put some uh 3816 uh bolts through there and then uh lock washers and nuts on the bottom 
and what. And I'm going to cut this off just about the right height. Uh, I'm actually going to still use part of that. But what I'm going to do with this one piece of steel here is I'm going to, uh, once that's cut off, that's actually going to uh, sit on top of that. It'll actually be, once that's cut off, it'll actually boink, sit, it'll, it'll sit down on that. And then uh, here, it will sit uh, part way on this. Follow me. And then, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld. Let's slide this down here. Okay. I'm going to put this on here. That's quarter inch plate. Uh, steel plate, plate. So we're going to put that on here about here. I'm going to weld that all around. So this will be, both be bolted to the bumper. We'll uh, slide that back up and bolt it. Then it will sit on top of this. And uh, that'll weld, we'll weld that to the bottom of this plate. That's going to make for a really, really... Uh, solid plat platform and uh we'll build from there and what i have is a piece of overkill now they got this wrong too i wanted a piece of one and a half by three and i knew it was big when i picked it up okay they got the one and a half part right it's a still channel and uh but it's one and a half by four so it's wider than it needs to be uh one and a, the uh one and a half this way by three this way would have been fine uh that probably would have been a little bit of overkill uh but this is definitely overkill but but we're gonna make it work I, I can make it work i i can tell i picked it up and uh i just didn't say anything i'm like i don't want to wait for the god to dig out another piece of steel and get it to the saw and cut it and... so then what's going to happen here is keep in mind this is going to be slid back some right yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be uh, back, you know back in here, back in here uh, a ways, and then uh, I'll, uh, so I'll do is I just set this out here for now, and then this piece will go, and then ugh, this piece will go on here, and uh, we'll weld that, and uh, this will be a, a nice piece to put the uh, spare tire on. This will be good, good and solid, and I might put a uh, uh, make a little gusset. Uh, or two for for strength down there you know anytime you got something just hanging off that far well that's this is longer than i need to this will get cut off somewhere up here and then <laughs> and then <laughs> another piece that will get the holes for the uh, uh and then put bolts through <laughs> okay with the spare tire uh, we'll finally get mounted too. So I gotta get all this together. Uh, finish doing uh, some more cutting and or measuring and cutting and welding and get it up here and then uh, paint it. All that happy stuff. So that's where we're at. And uh, I got some, I got a couple leftover pieces here that uh, I'll cut angles on them. Hang on. I'll, uh... It's gonna be hard to get this to sit. To actually stand up here let's see if we can do it let's see if we can do this all right let's put this like this a little stand hang on dun, dun, dun. can i get it to stay there for a minute without holding it yeah so i'll cut an angle on each end of this and it will act as a it will go in here it'll oops <laughs> it'll fit I'll scribe a line there and there and we'll put a weld that in. You know, you'll, you'll see when we get there. Okay. But, oh, uh, that's it. I'm going to get this all together and uh, I got to finish with, still got to finish welding the bottoms of these, hit, the, the rack that I modified. Get everything all painted. Get the tire on it. Uh, get the tire cover on it. Put the generator in it. Plug it in. Put the bike on it. I mean, we're getting there. We are getting there. <laughs> It is. You know, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of fussing around. Uh, especially when you got a few other things going on too that are interrupting or takes your brain space up a little bit. So, um, anyway. Alright. I've gone ahead and welded that piece up. It needs to cool down a little bit and I need to wire wheel it. Clean it up some and see what we ended up with. Uh, this here, I went ahead and sanded this and uh, wiped it down it'll let that dry a little bit 
And I think I said earlier that I, I don't want to paint the whole, entire bumper right now, but I do want to well or I do want to paint uh, the area that's going underneath the bracket to keep it from rusting. So I uh, got these real aggressive wire wheels on my angle grinder and uh, knocked some heavy stuff off. Then I got some sandpaper, I think some 180 grit, and just give it a good sanding and you know, down below here a little bit too. So I, I just want to get this area here for now and then and paint the bracket and get that bolted on. And then uh, I'll build the rest of this thing and I'll worry about painting the uh, rest of the bumper later. Because once that rack is on and this is finished, I, I still have to weld the undersides of, of these uh, things. So uh, once it's all together, I'll probably tape off you know, some things on the RV and kind of shoot that and shoot the rack so it's all, and uh, maybe the bumper, you know, just do all that at one time, I think. So uh, we're just doing some a little bit of spot work right now. Wait a minute, why mess around? Uh, the air compressor's running. Why mess around wire wheeling that one part that will fit inside the blast cabinet that I have in the garage? Some of you have, uh, may have seen this in the corner of the garage. It's a little um, blast cabinet. Yeah, it's a blast cabinet. I call it a bead blast cabinet because uh, some people call them sand blast cabinets, whatever. It blasts different types of media. I uh, put glass beads uh, in here. It's uh does a fine job and is uh, less aggressive than sand, a little bit finer. But uh, yeah, you put your arms in here. You don't want to be blasting your skin. Uh, and, uh, nozzle in here that you aim. Uh, uh, the sand that pulls up uh, well, air pressure from the compressor. That's why it was running. And then it uh, draws sand out and blows it out. But I did uh, just a little bit here. And I'll finish this up. So, uh, yeah, I can see the old rusty, uh, oh yeah, how you like, I'm pretty welds, huh? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I kind of wonder, get off course a little bit. I'm not, just not the best welder, but I think I had to heat up enough to where uh, it penetrated pretty good. I think it's going to work. So, yeah, so I just did part of it for now, but, yeah, that'll, uh, blasting it down to bare metal, that'll uh, get all the yuck off of it and the paint will stick to it. So I'm going to finish blasting that up and uh, the underside, uh, same thing. It's uh, I tend to wander off a little bit, hard for me to stay, uh, keep it a, a good pace and a good pattern and, uh, uh, and stay on course. <laughs> so it takes, it, I think any welder will tell you, and it's true with a lot of trades, it, uh, it takes a lot of time uh, behind the stick or behind the mask, you know, the welding mask or welding hood. You know, you got to put your time in to get good at it. So I'm probably lucky to do as well as I do, honestly. All right, I'm going to get back to this here and we'll get finished up. Oh, it must have been ready to kick off anyway. Okay. Oops, I tripped the breaker. <laughs> the air conditioner is running out in the uh, coachman. And uh, the air compressor is running. Was running. And then uh, one other thing, the shot vac. Uh, there's a shot vac hooked up to this. There's a fresh air intake. And the, the light stuff that gets blasted off, the glass beads are heavy, so they, they drop. But if you're blasting off like old paint and rust and uh, stuff, that stuff kind of floats in the air and it gets sucked out. A, 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 a shot vac is hooked up to a tube on the side of the cabinet. A little old shot vac down here. It comes right up here into this uh, side tube. And it just uh, keeps fresh air moving through here, carrying out any uh, really light particles. So and it, it's kind of shrouded to help any of the glass beads from going in it. But uh, yeah, anyway, uh, good enough. We're uh, yeah, the air compressor, the air conditioner, and the shot vac did not like it. So I don't know. I don't, I don't think it looks the welds look any better. It makes them look uniform in colors. About it. Look how zigzaggy. All right, I think my paint is dry. Yeah, I just wanted to paint the underside of this here for the most part. This is really, really thin. Uh, uh, I'm going to have to weld on that. I did get some paint on there, but it's really, really thin, more, more like a bit of an overspray, really. And at the top, I will have to wire wheel this off because uh, I have to weld a piece on top of this. So I didn't need to paint that. 
uh, not much of the top really, it's just this underside where it goes on here. Yep, we got some paint on there. So this is gonna go, that's gonna go right like that. All right. And uh, I'm gonna throw some bolts in there. Uh, I revived a couple of old bolts. Uh, same way, I put them in the uh, blast cabinet. And I gave them a little, little shot of paint. And they'll get painted over again. So I'm gonna put some washers and nuts on the bottom side of that. And uh, see what we end up with. What we ended up with is, I decided to take that one piece of steel back. It, it's just gonna interfere and I'll have to make another modification up top and I'm, I'm just not gonna do that. That's this piece here, it's four inches wide and it's just gonna interfere with this plate. Then I'm gonna put the whole pattern in. But I even made up a drawing. <laughs> uh, eight, it's a eight, uh, an eight hole pattern, eight holes. And it's a six and a half inch diameter bolt pattern. And I'm actually might go over to see if a machine's available over at my buddy's shop. I could lay this all out by hand and, and do it that way here at the garage. But you know, putting a half inch holes in it for half inch bolts, even though these are these are a little bit larger. Anyway, it's just easier to do on a machine over there than my little drill press. And so I've mapped out I'm gonna utilize three holes that one that one and that one so I've mapped out uh, my CAD software you know the location uh, locations of that so uh, this will be the same these will be the same just a that amount over this direction but the same amount down uh, any of you that are familiar with drawings that's <laughs> so I did that on my CAD software this morning and uh, I'm gonna set this up in the machine and the hole will go up here and then uh, here, and uh, here, roughly, and then that will get mounted on top of this plate, on top of this uh, post. And the trouble is, the distance between of two of those holes, where are they at here, of two of those holes is so close to these edges that I would have to modify the bolt itself. And I'm not going to chop the heads of the half the head of the bolt off so that there's clearance. Anyway, well, you'll see that later when we get uh, further along. But I'm going to run down, uh, exchange this, and uh, probably stop by the shop and uh, drill, put these holes in. And uh, we'll get back to this. Hopefully, we get this all mounted up here. So what was the one thing I said earlier in the video? Was I was not going to put off fixing the van. I was not going to get caught out somewhere and it wouldn't start. I was going to fix them battery terminals, which I have this morning. There they are. There they are. The brand new one over here. There's the old one. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with these. Is, I mean, they're not actually broken. Uh, you know, I could have cleaned those up. I could have put them in the blast cabinet and probably made them, made them like new again. Uh, this one here was actually it's a little bit funky. Uh, so I put the wrong size bolt in it at some point. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're just not gonna. I'm gonna keep this one as a spare. And then here's that other one with the wider, uh, the bigger thing. And it needed, uh, it needed uh, the wires bared back a little bit further. Probably went a little bit further than I needed to, but it needed to stick out uh, past here a little bit on this end uh, for it to, to clamp properly. Uh, before the way it was, it only coming through part way, and it, it just didn't have a good enough bite. Uh, now, now it has a good bite, and they're all nice and clean. So, uh, yeah, these are uh, done with that. I don't expect to have any uh, problems with the uh, the van starting anytime soon. Knock on wood. Oh, and I want to, there, I'll show you real quick this little toy I showed you. Oh, there's the, uh, uh, the pieces I trimmed off the, to cut that wire back a little bit. Let me show you this real quick, because um, it's just one of them. This is just one of those cool little tools, okay? Here. Let's see here. Let's see here. I'm gonna do this like this. All right. That's uh. I can see. You know the sun's messing with us. I don't know how to. Uh, maybe we can do this over here. Maybe we can do this. Uh. Let's see if we can get some light on it. Okay. Hang on here. Hang on here.
All right, you can probably see how that's kind of crusty uh, inside here. A little crusty and dirty. So uh, I'm gonna take the cap off the end of this. See, there's that little, uh, little wire brush on the end. I know I'm having troubles getting getting it in the, in the camera out there. See that wire brush on the end? All right, so what you do is you take this, take this in here. See if I can get it in the, in camera. Okay, you take this round wire brush here and uh, you stick it in here and you turn it around. And you just spin that. Okay. Let's try this again here. So yeah, you put the put the wire brush uh put the this wire brush end in in here and you, you spin these around. And we can see the stuff coming out of there, huh? And uh she shines her shines her up in there. I don't know how well you can see that on camera. But that uh that cleans that part of it up. And then the other end of that is uh it's a wire brush oops it's wire brush inside so you put it on top of the battery post and the uh, same thing spin it and make the battery post clean that way you're putting a clean terminal on a cleaned uh, battery post and uh, have a nice good connection again so but my problem was more with the connection where the cable went in in here and, uh, all right all right, I obviously have a few things to do th uh, this morning. Uh, I'm going to go uh, take care of that stuff. And, uh, and then we'll, resume. we'll We'll pick this back up when I get these pieces together and ready to go on there. We'll complete that, uh, finally put it together, and put that job to bed. So uh, that's it. We'll, we'll, we'll end the video here. I'll be back really soon. We'll get that finished up. I'll see you next time.